on this episode. Here we are, out on uh, Oneida Lake in upstate New York. Uh, challenges are many this time. Um, for one, I've never uh, sailed a lake this big before. As you can see, uh, here are the previous lakes I've sailed, and here's this lake. And uh, so as you can tell, this is quite a bit of a difference. Um, Another challenge is uh, this boat I noticed when I got back from the last trip had some water in it, so uh, definitely a leak going on. It's definitely a leak going on. Um, so uh, I believe it's coming from the Baylor area, so I ordered a new one. Mine is, let's see if I can get a shot of it here. Mine is broken and it's kind of always been that way and I always thought it was uh, okay because the first uh, leak test I did it seemed all right, but. The second one, after I noticed that the hole was full of water, uh, showed that there was definitely uh, a leak there. So I'm going to get that replaced. And uh, yeah, another challenge is the uh, weather. Um, it's not exactly a hot day. Uh, I said it was going to be in the lower 70s, so I figured it would be a good time to wear my wetsuit. Got it for my birthday. I turned uh, 38 a few days ago. So I uh, figured it was a chance to to get it out and use it, but um, I've been sweating this whole time. Uh, rigging the boat, getting it off the trailer, it took a lot out of me, so um, we'll see. This wetsuit might have been a mistake. Otherwise, uh, we've got pretty good winds. I think it's uh, supposed to be 10 to 17 knots, something like that, and we've got a, uh, a uh, coming from that way, um, which is a west-northwest wind. Um, now, that's going to be great getting to this island, but getting back, it's going to be a headwind the whole way. So I'm going to have to tack all the way back and uh, we'll see how long that takes. Hopefully not long. So the, the goal this time out is to reach what's known as Frenchman's Island. It's a state park and uh, it's got a dock. And so never done that before with this boat. I've only just sailed it. I've never had to dock at an island and uh, hopefully we can explore that a little bit, have some lunch and, uh, yeah, that'll be some fun, so uh, let's do some sailing. Well, so far the, uh, the wind does not seem like it wants to cooperate uh, with me today, so it's uh, pretty becalmed. It's supposed to be getting like seven to 10 knots of wind, but Right now I'm just getting nothing, so. Getting a little bit. I'm moving at least a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. But, yeah, very slow going, unfortunately. So we'll see, uh, see how it goes.
looks like that's not going to be the case. So definitely moving at a snail's pace here, which is fine. I'm in no rush, but I don't want to be out here at nighttime, so <laughs> I'll have to keep an eye on the clock. Foreshadowing is a narrative device in which suggestions or warnings about events to come are dropped or planted. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Progress. We are getting closer, so, and I do think that is the island. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. So we are getting there. Uh, it's just uh, taking its sweet time, but again, not too much of in a hurry. So we'll uh, we'll let it roll. Changing that battery wasn't fun, uh, but I did get it. I did drop one of my uh, screw posts into the water, so I had to use the one for my handheld unit here. Uh, so, yeah, I think I gotta ditch the uh, faux pro that's on the end of the boom there and replace it with an actual GoPro, something that has some substantial battery life. For some reason, that one just dies real quick, so I'm gonna look into getting one of those, maybe one of those new ones. Uh, anyway, I think this is the island, right? And I think that's the dock. I don't know if you can see it there. So I think that's the dock. I'm gonna do a uh, close sail by, check it out, and then probably circle around. And if it's the dock, I'll dock there. It looks a little high though, I don't know. Um, I'm, maybe it's meant for bigger boats than this. I might have to climb my way out of here, but we'll see. Either way, I made it. Um, I don't know if it's a mistake to leave these sails up or not. Hopefully the boat will be okay. Uh, I guess we'll find out when we get back. I had a line drop off from somewhere, but I have absolutely no idea where. All the lines seem to be in place, so I don't really know where, but it might have been an extra one I had down on the bottom. So anyway, I'll attach that later. I don't think it's gonna cause any issues. So let's, uh, let's explore the island a little bit, and then we'll uh, come back and have some lunch and head on back. I don't know if I'll run into anybody out here, but probably not. Didn't see any other boats after all. But maybe someone kayaked in. Never know. Fire pit, so someone's been... Oh my god, the mosquitoes. They are terrible. Oh man, didn't know I was gonna need uh, 
bug spray. I didn't bring any. And I'm getting chewed alive. Whew. Uh, let's see. Little frog. So I read online somebody called this Snake Island once. Because I guess there's a lot of snakes on it. Um, so that's not good. Now luckily up here... Oh my god! I am getting attacked! Boy, there's a lot of frogs on this island. I should call it Frog Island. Anyway. Uh, what was I saying? Oh my god, I am getting brutalized here by the mosquitoes. Holy mother! These are bad. Okay, anyway. Snake Island, uh, luckily where I live there's no uh, poisonous snakes really, so I don't really have to worry about that. Sorry if the camera is shaky, I'm just kind of holding it in my hand here. Uh, I had it on a, eh, not a selfie stick per se, but a stick nonetheless. Oh my god. I'm getting killed here. I'm getting eaten alive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hurt. Holy shiza. That's enough. Uh, ah. Okay. <laughs> Should have brought bug spray. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't know an island would be such a haven for mosquitoes, but we're going to do a little bit of hiking. I don't know how much I'm going to do. Another frog. Yeah, let's hike this way a little bit. See if we can find anything before I get eaten alive. Whew. There's a lighthouse here somewhere. So hopefully I can find that. That'd be nice. And through the spider webs, I guess. Anyway, it's a nice hike besides the bugs. It's pretty cool. Kind of hard to tell what's a trail here and what isn't a trail. Hey, some mushrooms. No idea what kind, but probably not the kind that will uh, give me an especially good time here. Another fire pit. Maybe that's why they don't allow camping here. They think, uh, you know, you camp here and then by morning you're just a skeleton sucked of all of its uh, nutrients by these goddamn mosquitoes. It's a trail. Ugh. God, nothing is marked. All right, let's go back to the other trail. I'm gonna find that lighthouse if it's the last thing I do. All right, put my head on that helped a little bit. Keeps them off my head at least. All right, where's that damn lighthouse? These bugs are horrendous, even with the hat on. Although it is better, so. I'll be all right, but, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to eating lunch and getting out of here. Hmm. Spider webs. I do hear people. I think there's, uh, people going by on jet skis. So who knows, maybe I will get a visitor. But that's all right. We can, uh, die from malaria together. Sorry if the camera's shaking all around. I, uh, ooh, there it is. All right, let's check this thing out. Get the hell out of here, God. Mosquitoes really didn't want me to come look at this. God. Yeah, they're really uh, trying to keep me away here. But I'm not gonna. I tend to be a little more tenacious than that. Oh man, look at all the garbage. That's a shame. And it's open. So, sometimes they say this is open and sometimes it's closed and it appears to currently be open. Now, uh, I don't know about going in there. Feels like the exact place you'd get murdered. So, uh, 
second. Most people are so ungrateful to be alive. But not you. Not anymore.